I'm proud of the fact that I did maybe turn the key in a door for a desk. I don't mean I didn't deliver, but at least there's some movement starting now, you know. And um, but da I, um, Danny here, he, he had his heart in New Orleans already. He just wanted his business in all New Orleans, and he kept the Irish. It was, his was nearly the embassy there, too. <laughs> the, the, the pub down in, in uh, French mm -hmm. Court, it was for everybody. Marion at all, you went to Danny's, mm -hmm. Danny's place. And, uh, he was even at Mass in Danny's pub, believe it or not, so he's a very religious fellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, that is my involvement, I'm delighted. And, and, then, when I, and I, then I read up and I discovered there's a group in um, Kerry Gallman here, Tully, working to protect the cottage and all, and then uh, there's a group in New Orleans. So gradually it's just yeah, getting together and living long enough to see maybe where it might get to, you know. Do you know when there's going to, the event's going to be in New Orleans? In November, the first week, uh, the fourth, second week, the second week, the second week in November. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Second week. Uh, if you, if you Google the, as again, there's something on YouTube for everything, um, they've got a whole website and everything up. Okay. So the famine commemoration in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, the Jimmy Dean and the minister is here. He, and, uh, well, unfortunately, he, in, a, in, a, in the revamp of the government or the <coughs> review of the government, he lost that particular post of the culture, arts, and heritage, or and the Gales like that is his. But now he's the minister for the diaspora. So whether that allows him to get to New Orleans or not, I don't know. But I think he's good he's for us in that position. Yeah, yeah, oh, he is a good man. Oh, for that I'd position, say he's yeah. good for us in that position. He's a lovely man too. Yeah, yeah. And Jimmy did put me on the. Uh, I'm on the. Uh, it's called the, the Decade of Commemorations on the Committee in Dublin. <coughs> all the centenaries that are coming up mm -hmm. now, right through for the next 10 years. Like yes. North and south. You know, the, mm -hmm. the Irish government's trying to drive it in the north it as well. Yeah. The, um, kind of commemorating the Psalm and all those, and the, even the, the UVF, they're bringing in the rifles and all to us, the Protestant forces, trying to get all the commemorations mm -hmm. supported, to get, just bringing people together. Yeah, and yeah. I, I have attended a few events down in Dublin, mm. where unionist uh, politicians have been down to Dublin to the events, so mm. gradually again, breaking through, and Jimmy was the man who's doing that, I was, I was very he sad. He does it ease, doesn't he? He just quietly got yes, on with yes, yes, yes. no, I do know that they had great confidence in mm, it, mm. they, he had no hidden agenda. Mm. He's just taking everybody along, Jen. No, he knew his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Very we're nice. delighted to have you here, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. And we're also delighted to have here with his parallel. <laughs> um, he's a local man born and reared here. Um, you probably are related to Margaret. In probably, way. given that her mother was O'Rourke. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Paddy O'Rourke is the chairman of the county council, so he's here. We've, we've had a lot of support from the council. And yeah. Well, just for the benefit of, of, the, of, of the, those present. Um, this office that I hold is Cahirla, that's an Irish word, or otherwise chairperson of the local authority. The local authority here in Leitrim, in this case, is made up of 18 elected members. This position sometimes rotates each year, and sometimes, depending on the strength of each political group, and sometimes one group can have it for the five-year term. On this occasion, it will be rotating because no particular group had an outright majority or whatever. We'll not bore you with the details of that. <laughs> PJ would have been a martyr to that, I suppose, in Northern Ireland where numbers meant everything. But I'm happy to tell you that here in County Leitrim, numbers don't mean a lot in so far as that once people get elected, they all work together and for the betterment of their community. It just so happens that on this occasion, I live two townlands down and I'm the first uh, to be from the village of Carrigallon since 1903 and as you can imagine in 1903 the Leitrim District Council as it was known at the time would have been under British rule and the makeup of it was very different to what it is today and for that reason alone I was particularly happy to, to take on the position and as Becky referred to earlier on Leitrim County Council has been in support of this project right from the beginning but Having said that, without the voluntary effort of people like Lachlan and Becky and Moore and all of the people, I don't want to dangerous to name names, but of all of the people and the landowners and whatever, it just would not have happened and would not have been steered or led by any public agency. It had to come from the ground up. And I think in June here, when we were here with the Minister, we referred to an initial meeting which was back in 2008, and eight. 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 Yeah. on a windswept morning in January. Uh -huh. There was nothing here, there was only a dream. The dream has become a reality. The thing to do now is to move it on to the next stage. And um, once we've got the hang of creating saints that we have 
Then we have Marius. Can I be next? I'm his wife. You are a saint. Who knows? Who'll be next? Well, I leave that up to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, look. For my part, I do hope that you've enjoyed. You've come along, journey, and I do hope that you've enjoyed your time last night. I understand you had a whale of a time and that you will enjoy the rest of your period spent here. Danny, I'm familiar with because we've met <coughs> many, many times and he's also familiar with my cousin, Anthony Kerrigan. That's right. He used to be, perhaps, I suppose, you're all leading busy lives if that's the way life goes. Hopefully somebody from County Leitrim will be making it across or from the committee will be making it across in November and that'll be, you know, it'll, it'll help to forge and strengthen the links between our group here and your people over there. So, that said, Please do enjoy your stay here, and if you have any questions, direct them to the man in the corner. There was um, they were going to try to do something in Kilachandra years and years ago, and uh, my uh, the godmother of my business in Bridgewater, Mary Ann Sway McGrath. Uh, got, we got a hold of the story about what was happening, and she was in consultation with uh, with Patty here uh, about uh, the Kilachandra town connection. Well, well, connection, and they thought there's another teller yeah. next to Kilachandra, mm -hmm. so they were going to actually do this project in in in, in, in um, Kilachandra until Patty and uh, Mary over in New Orleans. Um, intervened. Intervened. And, uh, <laughs> diverted. I, I, think, I, I, I think, in fairness, Danny, some of what led to the confusion as to whether Margaret was from Kilishandra or from Carrigallan was number one, there was a Tully, a townland, yeah. uh, Tully, uh, not just north of Kilishandra, yeah, yeah. but number two, she would have left Kilishandra on a train and mm -hmm. would have had a yes. boarding pass Possibly. which indicated mm -hmm. that there was, you know, and, and that sort of associated her with Kilishandra. Mm -hmm. The very first I heard about Margaret of New Orleans was about 30 years ago when a man called Matt Gaffney Gaffin, from yeah. Kilishandra <laughs> arrived in my house to speak to my father who was fairly elderly at the time and but would have had a good knowledge of all of these affairs and spoke to him about Matt Gaffney wasn't a native of Kilishandra as it happened, he was from North Leitrim or whatever, but he had gotten some correspondence and was about to initiate a process that would possibly have led to this cottage being sighted somewhere else or whatever. But anyway, thankfully, all has come right. The people in Kilishandra are only too happy, as we see an example of it here today. We have a couple of people for, over from Kilishandra who gave up their time to give a boxy demonstration. There is no issue in regard to that. <laughs> it's clear and straight. Margaret Hockery, previously yeah. O'Rourke, was born here <laughs> and that's my welcome. <laughs> There's a few little presentations we'd like to make. It's not an awful lot. Um, I'd like to um, present this to PJ and uh, Leoncia. Yeah. 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 This is just some of the home of Tully. Mm -hmm. so have Tully yeah. and Heather, it's all straight lovely. from yeah. where yeah. here in yeah. Leitrim. So just a little bit of memorabilia. Lovely. Thank and you very much. It's lovely. Hush Marv's Beatification. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. And this is for Danny. He always, he always brings a crowd here. I'm sure you'd be able to put that in your suitcase. Oh, sure. <laughs> don't, let, don't let them take it out. Whatever no, you wait, do. no, my, thank, <laughs> thank you ever so much. Oh, and this is all a few little bits from around. The turf and uh, heather from oh, the back yes. here. And, mm. thank you. and so it's a, a local, local artist yes. here has um, done all that. Josephine. Josephine, um, Josephine Kenny. Josephine Kenny. Kenny. Yeah. 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 One of the things we try to do in the cottage is always try and support local no people and local. Do you know what I mean? The whole thing has been everybody leaving. Do you know what I mean? So trying to support in our own small way any local businesses and artists and craft or the mu musicians. So there's one more um, very special um, presentation to a girl who is probably hanging outside, she never pokes her head up or whatever, and has always been there for us, um, is the Leitrim Tourism yeah. Officer, um, Sinead McDermott. So can you... Sinead, yeah, she's oh, here. She <laughs> 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 
Sinead she, um, she, like, has worked with us Trojanly yeah. hard along the way. She's always there to support. She's on phone calls. She comes to meetings out of hours and uh, she quietly works away, um, has put the Margaret project on the map and we just thank her with this little token. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd just like to say um, it's been a pleasure to work with the committee. They're an amazing uh, committee. And this building here has been a credit to all their hard work, um, as Paddy said, about how it all started with. Um, and they've just been brilliant. Um, and they really have put Margaret on, on the map. And... Um, you know, it's formed the relationships with New Orleans and the partnership and it's, you know, to see all the people here today, it's brilliant and you're all very welcome to lovely Leitrim. Uh, I know you had a great night last night and I hope you have a There's great day today. There's only one New Orleans and it's the one with the bad jokes. <laughs> 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 Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you ever so much, Sinead. Sure. I think there's been nights Sinead has left a house up the road not known. Which road to take? Out of the <laughs> and there's oh, no alcohol involved. There's no alcohol involved. There's only tea. There's only tea. That must be the result of course, ain't it? We have to say it's not the first to lead to County Council. We have got our sign and we'd like to welcome our county manager here, Frank Horn.